Welcome to another video, everybody. My name is Gordon. If you're new to the channel, this is Aquarium Talk TV. On my last video, if you watched it, I got to meet Nick, AKA Cow Turtle. He is the infamous eel pit. Um, if you haven't seen it already, I'll leave a card up here. We're here for part two. We're off to see my boy, Chase, AKA Monster Fish King. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description of this video and his Instagram account. Chase had some incredible ponds. He's in the, currently in the process of rebuilding, but we got some stuff in store and you're just gonna have to see exactly what we got going on. So we're on our way there right now from Nick's house and welcome to part two. Look who I found. What's up guys? Chase, Monster Fish King. We're going on a little bit of an adventure right now. We're gonna go have some fun. Um, stay tuned. You'll see what we're about to do next. So where are we? These are actually, this isn't actually an old water facility here in Kentucky. Steve will probably talk a little bit about it too, but these are all maybe 10,000 gallon koi. These are all koi right here. And you can yeah. see if you look closely, there's a bunch of breeders in there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they, they're sold all around the state here. Now, there's a bunch of big, big mamas in there. Just, just like peanut koi, kind of a mixed yeah. breed. No yeah. Japanese koi, unfortunately, but no, for sure. You know, super good for and a big goldfish. So yeah, absolutely. Massive you can see them up. down there. I don't. The cam, yeah, the camera's picking them up as well, so you can definitely see them down there. And then we got an empty one over here. All the filtration running over there. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. It's kind of like an old. I think it was maybe built in the 50s. You said. Yeah. So now it's. You know, just repurpose for a, a fish farm, which that's dope. Kind of jealous, you know. Oh, Imagine man, having I'm, this indoor with dude, that like I'd be, I'd be super happy about having something like that. Right there, dude. That's 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 deep, the big deep. one. Yeah. That's the big deep. one. Yeah. That's like the giant paddlefish of like three or four. <laughs> yeah. Hi guys, this is Steve. Hi. Runs a paddlefish farm over here, so uh, he's gonna take us around and show us a little bit of what's going on. Yeah. So that's this dope. is a uh, old syrup plant that was closed down in 2001. Yeah. And what we've done is. Uh, changed it so we can start using the tanks again drain in yeah adding water uh so i'm going to start at the beginning and show you our uh, source of water here awesome so this awesome. tank is is 35 feet deep and this is where a pump from a creek over here that's about six miles up is the headwaters where there's a uh, tree spring so it's really pretty good water yeah and i got two three horsepower pumps and then pump it throughout the whole facility. The old sludge tank, that thing was built in 1935. Wow. So, uh, That's crazy. Yeah. You gonna get another platinum? I know, dude, I wish so bad. They're, so, they're <laughs> too rare. Finally got it. Platinum paddle this 65 feet across diameter, seven feet deep. Wow. And I have probably 1,500, 2,000 paddle fish that are about two to five pounds in here. And I also keep koi carp in here, my brooders and some other koi carp. Yeah. This is a way of controlling any duckweed, filmus, algae, biological control. It's weird because when you're in there trying to catch them, uh, like they're all banging into you. So you can see this is the drain system we, we put in. It has a gate valve down there. We can drop it down to within a foot of the bottom. Yeah. And, uh, it's beautiful. Continue. Usually about January, I drain all the lines, make sure they don't freeze. And... Uh, these, these are the... Well, it used to be clarifier tanks are now uh, have uh, large mouth bass in here. Large mouth bass. And I'll, I'll get some feed and show you. Absolutely. Yeah. Gotta watch the bass eat. Seen these bad boys eat, Chase? Holy cow. See, that just gives you perspective. Look how deep that is. Yeah, that's deep. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Imagine having like an aeropyme in there like that. 20,000 gallons. Perfect for a white tip, a black tip reef shark, right? <laughs> <laughs> <That's good. laughs> about 8,000 bass in here. 8,000 bass? Uh-huh. Wow. That are about uh, four to five inches. I need my life jacket. We're here to the paddlefish tank. Uh, you ever got a fishing rod out there and just went to town one night? <laughs> no, because I don't want to put any kind of holes in their roof. Yeah. I want to jump in it. Jump in, bro. It's I want to, so I want to jump in. That's like creek water. How cold would you say that water is? How cold? Yeah. Oh. It's about 50. 50? Yeah, 50. I'm glad you bought your trunks. Dude. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I brought mine. Not enough to be comfortable. Well, I don't know. You're from Ontario. You I, might... brought, I brought I brought. Might be, uh, I brought my swim trunks. Uh, now, what are, the, what are they eating? Is this just a, just a pellet? This is a small, Same. this is a uh, two millimeter floating pellet. Gotcha. It's a high protein. It's really for bass yeah. or, or trout. 
but I, the paddlefish really like it. Nice. There we go. So Just cute. when you think they you have cute. the right market size and somebody wants yeah, something like small. <laughs> and then when you have small ones, somebody wants large. Yeah. Right? And then also I was telling him, Steve, that you created your own hybrid goldfish, didn't you? Yeah. That we got from you. So that's pretty cool. You created your own it's, hybrid goldfish. Uh, well, it's it's a koi cross a goldfish. And what I've been selling them as is a biological control for duckweed and filament algae. Here in Kentucky, a lot of people talk about weeds, but really the weeds they have is duckweed and filament algae. And they, these uh, hybrids will just eat it and eat it and yep. tear it up. This thing is full of them. I can see them. Get the 900 in here. Close to 900 paddle, paddle fish. fish in here. Dude, there's 900 paddle fish in here. If you notice, they'll come up, kind of turn sideways, grab the paddle. Yeah, and back yeah. Down. Because of that paddle, it interferes with feeding like most fish would. Can't wait to get some more for the ponds. So this temperature is uh, 50 degrees, you would say? 50 degrees? Probably, yeah. Chase, will you hop in there? Maybe if there was a platinum in here, I would a thousand percent get in. I think that time we went to go to the platinum, it was probably. I think we should like do a bet. I think we should yeah. do a bet, and the loser has to hop in there. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I didn't get any platinum out of this. Let me know what you think. Should Chase hop into this pool one day? <laughs> if this gets, Fifty if this degrees gets like or 10, colder. Ten thousand likes. I'll hop Ten thousand likes. Okay, done. Pull back there so I can fill you up with the oh, water. Awesome. Have to so what are you doing today? We're going to get 15 paddlefish. We have the pool pond set up. Obviously, the tanks are running, unfortunately. I don't the tanks. But we have pool pond set up, and I'm going to get a bunch because they're so cute and they're little. And I've never had babies before. So, Absolutely. like, I need to get them either here yeah. because by the time my ponds are done, like, they might be, like, that big. So, so guys, we're at the paddlefish farm. I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. Chase is buying paddlefish. Let's see how many he gets and uh, what happens. Decided it was a good choice to wear shorts today or what? No, dude. It's kind of cold, but... <laughs> We got the Canadian blood in me. Oh, 100%. <laughs> the blood of gods. Like, those are perfect. I mean, I mean, if, if, is that nice. all right? Yeah, those are perfect size. Oh, yeah, those are sick. Perfect. Load them up. Twelve, thirteen. 13. I think two more, right? 13. Yeah, two more. 13. Two okay. more. Make it 15. That's nice having the video on. You know what, do 20. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, more Sharks have is a ram ventilation. They have to okay. push the water by swimming through the gills. Okay. They can't pump it. So that's why they sometimes when they go in, they just go upside down. They just go upside down and gotcha. they get frustrated. Uh, they're used to swimming constantly, just like sharks. Gotcha. I love how black they are. Like Back in the 1700s, they actually had this list as a freshwater shark. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then it, it changed back in about 1800 to uh, closer to the sturgeon family. So sturgeon they're, family. They're within the sturgeon family. So now are they, um, so have you ever, do, do they stop swimming ever? Like? No. If they do, they usually die. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so. So they um, won't just sit down, go quiet, and lay at the bottom and go to sleep? They do, they'll. Stay to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They'll so, stay to sleep. Interesting story, Gordon. Actually, the first time I ever bought paddlefish, 17 at the time, and um, I hauled them all home like an hour drive. We had oxygen, and they were all floating, like Steve said, like they were kind of like in that. Yeah. I don't know what state it was, yeah. but. And so I thought they were all dead, right? Because like you know when you see a fish yeah. float, the gills aren't really moving. Yeah. And I was like, they're dead, like they're gone. I can't save them, and they just started belling up. So I'm like, I'm gonna take them out before you know the water gets all messed up. Cause I had stingrays in there, so I took them all out, and technically they were alive, but. Yeah. I just didn't know what that. What you have to do sometimes is actually throw up an yep. Abraham splash. Splash. It wakes them up. I think yeah, you showed me that. Weird, yeah, know. with your videos. Yeah, you... I got a lot of hate in the beginning. Everyone yeah. Was like, I typed the comments. We talked about that on Aqua yeah. Talk, I think. And yeah. everyone was like, dude, what are you doing? Like, you're going to break their nose off yeah. or their rostrum. And I'm like, oh, uh, you got to. Oh, you either let them die or you do this. It's like. It's Give them a. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It pretty much uh, brings them back to life. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So. Get that. So we're getting five more. It was 15, now there's 20. This one's a good sign. We, we developed a technique called gynogenesis to make all female paddlefish. In our research, we were trying to produce mostly, if not all females for the caviar industry. Yeah. More or less get rid of the males. The procedure we developed pretty well gave us 80% females. So we increased it by 30%, which when you're looking at one female going for about a thousand dollars retail you know in eggs because you're looking at about four to five pounds of yeah. eggs yeah so uh, you know you increase by 30 percent that's pretty good yeah uh, we were trying to develop it so we could do a breeding population and we never got that far the problem is that each generation takes 10 years 
I did this for 30 years, so I had three generations. <laughs> wow. That's an honor, man. Like, thanks, man. Yeah. Absolutely. It's uh, been a nice pleasure. You going. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'm happy You're to come by. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. So we made it back to Chase's house. We got the paddle fish. There's 20 of them in there. We're going to load them up in the pool pond. Let's go. Beautiful. Beautiful. There's 20 in here. Last I checked. Nice ones. Really beautiful. He's rebuilding. I'm excited to see what happens next for him. So cold, dude. Look how cute that is. That's gorgeous, man. That's crazy. Absolutely. Yeah, there's 20. We got end up getting 20. Perfect. There you go. Um, What's the last one, man? Beautiful. <laughs> Almost dropped that one. Well, the idea is just to smack them on the water, right? Chase? Yeah, just like they kind of feel that, like, yeah. just yeah. nicely. They just kind of feel that and wakes wake them up. up. Back to life. Yep. Because if not, they'll just kind of float and they never kind of. Perfect. Like a pro, man. I've been practicing for this. Bro, I've been watching your your content, man. Your paddle fish content. Yeah. They're so dark. I mean, you really can barely see them yeah, in that, you can in that black fin. Just get a nice close up on that. Go two handed. Boom. Oh. This is just temporary. Your ponds will be up before you know it. I know. I hope so, man. I they miss, will be. I miss having the rays, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's the end of this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Comment below. Let me know where you're from. It was an absolute pleasure hanging out with Chase for the day, picking up some paddlefish, loading them up in his pool pond as he rebuilds his new concrete ponds. Kentucky's been a blast. I'll definitely be back here again when Chase is done rebuilding his ponds. It's been an absolute pleasure being out here, man. Thank you, Chase, for the hospitality. Thank you for bringing me out here. Um, I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody that watches this video. Go subscribe to Chase's channel. I'll leave a link in my description below. Um, follow him on Instagram. I'll put all the details down in the description below. Out.